I'm going to do an experiment and I need your help. I'm going to show you two videos and this is the first one. Look at it carefully. It shows a white object shaped like a tic-tac moving over a background, a fence. But is it moving? What's actually moving left and right up and down here? Is it the object, the camera, or maybe both? Obviously the camera is rotating to track the object, but is the camera moving? Is the object moving? Watch it a couple of times and see what you think. Now the second video is the same object, but this time we're looking down over the water. Again, the camera rotates to track the object, but what's moving left, right, up and down here? The camera, the object, or both? Can you even tell? Think about what your answer is before continuing with the video. Feel free to write down your answers for both videos in the comments before continuing. Okay, spoiler alert, make sure you have your answers because I'm about to pull back the curtain. The answer is the camera is moving, but the object is not. I shot both videos with an iPhone mounted on a gimbal. The gimbal is set to track the object so it remains fixed in the middle of the screen. I cropped the scene to remove 3D objects that would give the game away, and I added a bit more stabilization using Adobe After Effects to lock the object in the middle. In both cases, the model was about halfway between the camera and the background. I asked about this on Twitter with this exact same videos, and I got some interesting replies. With the fence experiment, most people seem to think that both camera and Tic Tac were moving, although I might have messed up the question there by suggesting it was a real Tic Tac. It's actually two inches long. For the pool experiment, which are worded a bit better, there was quite a mixed set of responses and rationales for those responses. But a majority of people thought the object was moving. Some thought both the object and the camera were moving, and a few people got the correct answer. What I was trying to demonstrate was just how compelling the illusion of motion can be if you don't know how far away an object is. The pool example is particularly compelling. I was surprised that there was a real sense of the object moving around, even without cropping and stabilizing the image. So there's a general point of don't let your brain trust what your eyes are telling you. But there's a more specific point about camera systems that track objects. Parallax can be a very compelling illusion with an object tracking camera, even an undetectable illusion. It can make things look like they are moving in a direction that they are not. We see this with various UFO videos like Gimbal and GoFast, but I think it can also apply to direct visual observations. If you don't know how big something is, then you can't judge distance. Like with this model over the pool, the natural impression is that it's low and close to the water when it's actually much higher. This is a very natural and understandable illusion that anyone in a particular position above an object of unknown size might make. In a plane in that position with two pilots, both pilots would see the same illusion. And if there was another plane higher up, they might see a different version of the illusion, but still not say things as they really are. It's something to keep in mind when looking at accounts of novel objects of unknown size. If you don't know where it is, how do you know how big it is? If you don't know how big it is, then how do you know how far away it is? And if you don't know where it is or how big it is, and you are moving, then how do you know if the object is actually moving the way you think it is?